how to use google chat simple tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on how to use google chat as a complete beginner to chat with your friends and more so let's get started first what you guys need to do is you will go to mail.google.com chat and you'll get right here the easiest way to get to google chat is just going to be opening your google tab and then you will click on the google apps right here and this is where you will find the google chat so i'm going to click on it and open it up you don't need to create an account on google chat if you have a google account then you will be able to sign in really easily inside your google chat this is what it looks like and it's actually a really simple app to use let me show you how you get started and how you can use google chat first of all you can see we have our main menu which will show me three options chat spaces and meet Chat stands for a simple chat or a conversation that we can start. It's just like messaging that you do on your simple apps. Then we have spaces, which refers to a group that you can create on Google Chat and add multiple people at once and chat with them really easily. Then we have Meet. Meet is going to be through Google Meet, where we can actually talk to people face to face and it's going to be a video call option. So these are the main options that we get on our Google Chat. Then we have our search bar right here to find people spaces and messages with our search bar we have the activate option this is where i will be able to set a status if i want it to be automatic where it will show me if i'm active or not then we have do not disturb or set as away so and then we also have set add a status which is going to be a custom then we have chat notification settings so i'm gonna go ahead and set it to activate for now and it has been set. Moving on, we have the chat. Let's find a chat or create a new chat by just clicking on this plus button. Now you have to enter a person. If you have already added a contact, then you can add right here. What you can do is you can enter their email address. Once you have entered a email address, then what you can do is you can add another one. We can actually create a group as well and add more than one. Once the email addresses have been added, you're just going to click on done and your new group will be created. Now, this is what it looks like and you can see this is what the group is called and I will be able to view the members add more people then we have turned this chat into a space mark as unread pin notification turn off history leave block and report so these are the different options that we get with the drop down here we have the simple option right here to send a message so i'm just going to send a message of hi and it will be sent and it will show my name right here and when other people will chat their name will be shown right here so i'm going to send another message to just show you guys how are you you can see so this is like a pretty good way to chat with people through their email address then we have like our simple emojis then we have gifs that we can send with google chat we can upload a file and we can also start a video meeting so if you want to send a gif just click right here and it will allow you to select from thousands of gifs available online then we have stickers and emojis too so it's a very don't think that it's very professional platform where you cannot chat with your friends you can you can send emojis you can video call with them or you can also use google chat professionally for your meetings and to chat with your team that is why i really like google chat then we have this plus button right here click on the plus and it will allow you to add a drive file or a calendar invitation let's say i want to actually create a meeting and then chat about to my team members about that meeting or actually create a meeting do a video meeting with google chat so i can actually create an invitation click on calendar invitation and it will open up the google calendar for me with our google chat we are getting google calendar keep notes and then we have the task option and context so you can see now i will be able to create a new event or an invitation with my google calendar right here moving on if i want to add any notes about it then i can just open up my keep from here and then we have the context section so click on the context and it will show you the different contexts that you have added with your google chat 
To create a new contact, what you can do is click on get started and it will take you to Google contacts right here. This is where you will create a new contact. You can enter their email address or phone number, or you can import a list as well. And then you can use those contacts to chat with them. This is where you will be creating your contacts separately, or you can directly enter an email address right here. And those people will be invited to your chat. Click on add people to add more people to your group that you have created to create meetings with them and chat with them on Google Chat right here. Now, let me show you how to create a space. Click on space right here and it will allow you to create space. Let's say I want to create a space for my friends, then I can create a space for my work. So we can actually divide our Google Chat into different spaces to help us get organized and to manage it well. I'm going to call it workspace. And then we have the descriptions. I'm just going to add work related. And then we have to enter the email addresses of the person or if I want to a link to a group, then I can add it right here. Once you're done, you're going to click on the done option right here. You can also add an icon. So I'm going to go ahead and just add this one. Click on create and a new space will be created on Google chat. With this space, we can actually do a little more than just a group. You can see this is a workspace and I will be able to now create separate groups in a workspace. Then we have the files option where we can upload our files. Then we have tasks right here that will allow me to add different tasks and we can add our to do's for our team. In order to chat in a workspace, it's going to be similar. Just send the message and it will be sent in your group right here in your workspace. To add a people, just click on add people and you will be able to add as many people as you want to your workspace. We can create more than one workspace and we will be able to find them right here. Click on these three dots and you will be able to pin a workspace, leave a workspace, block and report, mark as unread. Similarly, if you click on the name of the workspace, you will be able to get the drop down and we have view members, add people, view space details, mark as unread, pin notification, turn off history, leave, block and report and delete. So this is chat and spaces. Moving on, we have meet. So click on the meet section and you'll be able to create a video meeting with your team members. So let's say I want to do a video meeting or a video chat with the people I have in this group. So I'll just click on add video meeting and it will be added right here and I'll be able to invite them. So using Google Chat is really easy. You can go ahead and check it out right now. It's a free app by Google available with your Google account that allows you to chat with your team members, create spaces, do video meeting and more. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to do everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question.